first time we ever ran up against them. We knew gift existed and all the rest, but we're up on the bluffs. This person comes out from behind a tree with a microphone, and what do you think that? How do you think frogs are being affected by the environment? Huh? Up the bluffs? Talking about frogs? <laughs> that was my first impression of of gift. Like thousands of others before us, we came to GIFTS to complete a one-week filmmaking boot camp. Through the last 10 years, the schools turned out over 1,200 films and won more awards than any other film school in Canada. I think that most people were very skeptical. Film school in a logging camp for teenagers on Galliano Island? No, I mean, and rightly so. For the first five or six years, it was just run on a, a, a whim and a prayer. Every week was a miracle when the films were finished, that the cameras lasted another day, that the computers lasted another day. Um, it, was, it was tremendously sketchy. We wondered just how much of the success of this school was a result of the community. So we went to the local market to see what people had to say. Do you have any comments or something that you noticed about the film school and the impact it's had on the island? Well, of course. <laughs> There's lots of impact. <laughs> You're here. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine almost all the residents on the island at some point have been interviewed or acted in or participated at some level. Whether there's poets or painters or just the guy in the street, I think um, everyone supports the film school and everyone really appreciates what they've given to our community. George Harris has me down on the list of guinea pigs. <laughs> people have to do to learn how to do things, including talking on microphones and <laughs> looking at cameras and things like that. Last year I took a course at the film school. I did a documentary and I was able to uh, do a work trade. Um, that was great, so didn't have to pay the full cost. And I think I got a local discount as well. I've lived on the island for three years. And um, yeah, just a really positive experience. Um, we also, have had, I would guess, 50 people from Galliano Island take our program. Now, there's only a thousand people, so that's a lot of, you know, per capita. And we've been able to give a lot of financial support to people that might not be able to come to our school. Well, it's had a pretty profound influence on my life. I was George's neighbor when the idea of the film school hatched, so uh, I worked with him quite a bit on it. We were, I was one of the founding directors. Um, so, in fact, what it did is it, I was just going to come to Galliano for a, for a semester off and I fell in love with the island, but then once I got involved with the film school, I stayed and I've been on Galliano 12 years. People are happy to have it here, you know, I think it, it adds, a, it adds, I don't know, seasoning to Galliano, to our life here. So people are, for the most part, very happy to have people in their homes, to be interviewed, to help out in interviews, to act even, you know. We knew right from the beginning that we were sunk because we're on a little island. If we burnt our locations and our actors, because there is no other place to go. There is only one public school. There's only one gas station. There's only one pub. There's only one. And so if we need those, then we have to look after them. <laughs> Just the fun of up, fun of doing them. Okay. Yeah. Do you keep doing it for the joy? Oh, sure. Yeah. Just, to <laughs> Just to help them? Sure. It. That's fantastic. Sure, because like they've come right to the house, you know. Yeah. You know, brings a lot of people to the island, too, and gives them kind of uh, introspect and uh, challenge to kind of meet people in this community and spend time with them and understand how we all live here, too. 
whether the film school's here or not. Well, I'm not that close to it all, so I don't really know if there's been negative impact. I'm sure it's probably put somebody's nose out somewhere. <laughs> That's not hard to do these days. Um, and have you yourself been involved in any of the filmmaking? Yeah, oh yeah, lots. I've been involved in a lot of filmmaking on the island. I mean, well, with gifts and with, from, by myself, but a lot with gifts, yeah, for sure. What's one of your most memorable roles um, as an actor? Um, probably this a sexy blonde woman pouring water all over my body um, while flirting with a 14-year-old boy. My favorite role. You like that? <laughs> We still have a real strong base of support on Galliano Island. It, it's, it, is, it is quite exceptional. It's extraordinary. Maybe some mood music? Get you in the mood, honey?